What's up folks? We're back at it. It is winter fishing, but it don't feel like winter at all. It's about 55 degrees. Check this out. Look what I'm wearing. I'm embarrassed to show up, but shorts. But I still got the hoodie on. I decided to put this guy on. Did some yard work today. Had some, check that, check out the show. I sprinkled down some seed and putting up these, uh, what are they called, silk fences so it doesn't get washed away. I figure when the spring comes, the grass might be up a little bit and these silk fences will keep the, the erosion down a bit. So we're gonna go out and fish. I'm gonna show you some uh, live scope action. It's winter fishing. Yesterday was literally 30 degrees, cold as you can get, and today, well, it's changed. So thanks for joining me, I appreciate it. Please subscribe, we're at three pound fishing, baby. We're gonna put some fish in the boat. Thanks for watching Three Pound Fishing, partnered up with these fantastic companies. All right, man, you gotta love these winter days. I mean, it just doesn't get you better. Put the trolling motor down. So I think it would be, you know, for the people that are just joining Three Pound Fishing, I'm gonna go over my setup just real quick to get started with. I got an 8612. Um, it's mounted on a cornfield crappie gear mount the folding telescope scope one. Uh, I believe that's 30 inches and it's mounted on top of a bridge. So if you're interested in a mount, you should check that out. My favorite. I do have an 8616 at the house that will be mounted when I have time to bring this boat down to Cornfield Crappie Gear. But because I did all that moving, I have not had time. So that's my setup for live scope, an 8612 right now. And I think it's fantastic. But I have always told everybody that the 126 SV is probably your best bang for your buck. Um, I don't think there's that big of a, and I've had both, I don't think there's that big of a difference in picture quality. I do like the on and off uh, with the cradle. And uh, I don't think you can go wrong with that system whatsoever. A lot of people I've, you know, they've been doing guide trips with, they uh, they have a 106 SVs, the 10 inch version of that. So that might be also a play in terms of cost. So. First guest on three pound fishing. Oh gosh dang. They ain't biting crazy. We're in the middle of the day here, but that's a good fish right there. That's our first guest on three pound fishing. I had to play that fish. I had to play it big time. It wasn't just doing a nice calm uh reef. So there that's what a school looks like, folks, right there. Bang it. There it is. Look at all even scan it in and make it even more beautiful. <coughs> Usually when you catch a fish out of a school, you know right away what kind of fish it is. What kind of the size fish are gonna be in that school. And so, um, get, oh man, this school's right here. There I am, drop it in. And there's a fish, that's a good fish. That's a good fish. Boom. Slabalicious, slabalicious. Check out that fish. That is a heavy fish. That is a heavy fish. And these fish right now, look at them. They're, they're like, they're not moving. They're not spooked. I'm trying not to hit the trolling motor. There I am dropping in. And uh, I keep it right above them. And then maybe I'll run it just like this. Oh, he didn't want to take it. So. There it is. The thing you're gonna love should be dropping in here. There it is. About this sniping braid is it is so smooth. I have, we've had so many comments about how smooth it is. Very little sound. Uh, oh, hold on. Let's see. Sometimes if you just let it drop right back, they'll come right back at it. Here he comes. And we got him. <laughs> it's so smooth. It's ridiculous. And strength. You know, it is braid. I always recommend to people, you know, it is braid. So it's gonna weather. I see this weathering less than most, but regardless, if I'm gonna go out on an important fishing trip, I'm gonna strip off maybe the first 10 yards. <clears throat> Just especially if it's been on my boat for a while. And look at that pile. 
you know if it's been on my boat for a while i'm gonna strip it off and, and, and get some free uh some some brand new line that's what i do for, with braid uh, but honestly this line right here been on this boat for two weeks through plenty of guide trips caught hundreds of fish and uh look at this look at these guys you gotta love it. look at these see my jig here now so I don't see my jig if I don't see my jig I'll go ahead and reel it in as if it's oh, there it is as if I know where it's at and it's good fish sniping braid three pound fish and tackle I'm telling you it's the ticket you can go to three pound fishing.com for the for the jig heads the sniping braid is snipingbraid.com look at that we're gonna fish one school on this video and we're gonna put I mean I mean, it's, it doesn't always happen this easy, but, you know, you are dealing with three pound on his home lake, and I'm gonna catch fish. That's just how it is. Oh my God. That's a good fish. This fish. I didn't see it bite either. I'm sure you didn't either. But it, uh, once I know I'm in the pile, I don't necessarily have to see it. So I just forgot that it was on there. Boom, right there, folks. And there we go. Dropping right back in. Having a great day. Great winter fishing, man. There I am right there. Straighten up my my braid. Oh. Uh. There's another one. See? Look at it. That's a beautiful, that's a great that's eleven and a half, maybe twelve, close to it. So, you know, obviously a good, a big factor here is, is boat control. Being able to stay in control of your boat, uh, nose is into the wind, but at the same time, you know, these fish are moving, so you need to anticipate kind of what they're doing and be able to stay with them within a, within a certain range. So, you know, I don't, I, I like to, I pulse the, the, the thruster on the uh, trolling motor, I don't know what else to call it, the button down there. I just kind of bump it a little bit and that kind of keeps me going even though I might be on a lot of people think my trolling motor is set on is really set high but again I'm not riding it I'm, I'm just kind of pulsating it from time to time to, to get me where I need to go it's little bumps little bumps that control it What a day on the water, folks. What a day on the water. We just got out here. How long have we been out here? We've been out here about 25 minutes. This is a monster school. This school, this school could go on forever. So let's move. Let's go experience. Let's go experience something else. Why not? Folks, that's what I think crappie fishing has become to me anyway, is experiencing something else. If I'm catching a ton of fish and it's easy, I want to move. I want to try a different area of the lake. I want to see something new. I want to experience something that triggers the fire that we all enjoy and we go to sleep by. So we're moving. We're going to an area of the lake that we haven't been at in a long time. And we're just, we're just curious as if the same activity is occurring there so here we go still live scope the whole nine yards and we're going to experience a whole different part of this lake all right so we moved 
and we found another incredible school. All right, so look at this. This is a, uh, that's an enormous amount of crappie. <laughs> and when you hit one of these schools and they're big fish, I mean, it's one big fish going in after another, but we're gonna, now those fish are those fish are moving, which I'm not a fan of. You can tell it because they're kind of fuzzy. Doesn't mean they won't bite. You can see these guys are about to take after it, but he hit it. But they, they seem to be less likely to bite. And uh right there and don't get no easier than that folks a lot of fun a lot of fun that's a good fish right there now right now I'm throwing out there about 40 feet so it takes a while for it to get down there there it comes right there and these fish are kind of deep. Look at they're down there at 16 feet, so they're not they're not as look at that. I'm already, I'm taking right there. You can see that here. There was another one right there. You saw that all an active cat. Oh, he got off. But uh, ooh, they slowed down. Big deal there. See how their colors become solid? They slow down. I know I'm in there. I'm taking right now. Look at this. <laughs> the, it, they've slowed down to almost a stop. Now they're kind of moving around a little bit. This is a good fish. Yeah, this is a good fish. Right there. Winter fishing, folks. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you. Please subscribe. You need to get on some braid for crappie fishing. It'll change your life. I'm just going to tell you right now. And uh, all the other stuff, they're great too. But I'm just telling you, I think there are some major game changers. And braid one of them. Great fish. Thanks for watching. Bam. Thanks for watching 3 Pound Fishing. Partnered up with these fantastic companies.